Hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to import and export CSV and text files using Excel 2019. Uh, there may be a lot of reasons to uh, that you may want to do that, such as checking for errors, merging data, combine your file with different file, uh, error correction. Um, data data analysis or change the format such as converting CSV to an XML file or so on or actually TSV file tab separated file okay so you can do a lot of stuff using Microsoft Excel um, work with your data okay uh, like I said again in this tutorial we are going to look at importing and exporting CSV files and text files. Okay, so having said that, let's get into our example. I'm going to use a simple CSV file. It's this file here that's called book2.csv file. It has a bunch of songs in it. So we are going to import this file into Excel 2019. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Data tab. Then we can either go from here or from the Data tab, Get Data button here. So I'm going to use the simplest one from Text CSV. Basically, it's the same thing. Whether you, it's a text file or a CSV file, it's the same process. So once we do the CSV file, you can apply the same logic to a text file. Okay, so I'm going to select this book2.csv and click import. Okay, it's going to give us a preview and our our options that we covered in our last tutorial about XML files. Again, we have those load, load to, and transform data. I'm going to select load which is going to create a new page and load the data into our new page. Okay, so. Okay, so it created the book two page for us, or sheet, and create a nice table with our data inside it. Okay, you will notice a couple of things. We've got column headers, with default names. Again, if you choose to change them, that's fine, but it presents the data as a table. Okay, so let's say we want to change the ID column in our data and then transfer back to a CSV file, either to a new file or overwrite the same file. Okay, so I'm going to change this column. I'm gonna I want my IDs to start from one, two, and in uh, numeric order. Okay, so I'm gonna change the value of first two rows, select two rows, and I'm going to double click this right, lower right corner to extend the option to the rest, and or drag, you can drag and drop. Either way it works. Let me show that way too in case you're not familiar with tables in Excel. I can select this corner here and drag it down. Basically the same idea. Okay, so I changed the IDs, I corrected the error in our file, and I wanna export this back to, let's say a different file, okay? And it's relatively simple. All I have to do is go to File, Save as. I'm going to select my folder and I'm going to call this uh, book2 revised. I'm going to change the format to CSV. Up here, CSV UTF-8. 
and click Save. So we got an error here. Basically it says the selected file does not support workbooks that contain multiple sheets. To save only the active sheet, click OK. To save all sheets, save them individually using a different file name. Okay, so basically since we have two sheets in this workbook, it's giving us this warning and we are going to go with this option here to save only the active sheet which is the sheet we are working on so let's click OK so we are going to do that and our file should be saved now okay right here if I open this file as you can see our ID number ID column all the errors are corrected but we have this additional column here our original file didn't have this this came from the table the automatic column headers so that's that so we can do a couple things about that we can either delete this column here get rid of this and save the file that way or I'm gonna cancel this out don't save or the other way before we export the file I can get rid of the table and delete the column so to get rid of the table I'm going to say um, let's see let's see if I can remember um, table okay from table I'm going to say convert to a range Okay, select that option and we'll get the warning that it says this will permanently remove the query definition from the sheet and convert the table to a normal range. Continue. We're going to say OK, yes, and it's going to remove the table. Now I can get rid of this column. Now, if I right click again, the table option is not here anymore because it's no longer a table now I can get rid of this first column I mean first row and then export that way now if I save this again select our folder and I'm going to just say revise to book2 underscore revise2 dot CSV and click save. And we get the same warning. We're going to say yes. Now let's check that same file. Well, the file we just saved. Open it. And now our data is the way we want it with no extra rows and with the corrected ID column. Okay, and again, the uh, values are comma separated, so everything else is perfect. Okay, so that's how to import and export uh, CSV file. We could alternately, we could overwrite the existing files if we wanted to uh, without any problems, but um, again, the option, the possibilities are there, and uh, we could basically do anything we want to. Okay. Um, again, if you want to convert to an XML files, we could create a simple schema like we did in our XML demo and convert this data to an XML file. Okay. All right, so that's it for CSV and text file import export using Excel 2019. Um, and uh, until the next one, have a good day. Thank you.